With summer on the way, at least at the time that I'm recording this, I'm thinking about fun things to do at the beach, at the park, or anywhere where you can find some sand. I remember the days when I was young when I would draw messages in the sand with my finger or a stick that I found. It was a lot of fun then, and it's a lot of fun to recreate that effect in Photoshop as well. So in this tip, I'm going to show you how to draw on the sand, and as a bonus, I'm going to show you how to create the sand if you don't have any. I'm going to start off by creating a new document, and we're going to set the pixel width to about 2400, and the height at about 2000. And then finally, our resolution to 300. We'll go ahead and click OK. Now we need to create some sand, so we need a sand color, right? So I'm going to open up my color picker, and I'm going to drag this slider down here and just get something that resembles sand. Now, depending on where you're from, sand might look a little bit differently, but where I'm from, this is about what color it looks like. Next, it looks a little flat, so we need to add a little depth to it. I'm going to go up under Filter, and we're going to drag down here to Noise and select Add Noise. Right now, it's at 5 by default, I guess. I'm going to go ahead and make this about 10. That looks pretty good. Maybe we'll dial it back to, say, 8. Either way, it doesn't matter. Just want to add a little bit of texture. That looks pretty good right about there. I'm going to duplicate that layer by hitting Command or Control J, and I'm going to flip over my foreground and background colors so that I can select a darker color sand. Now we'll start with what we had in the background. That looks good. And we're going to select something that's just a little bit darker, maybe a little bit more on the uh, cooler side. There we go. Go ahead and click OK. Now I'm going to come up here under Filter, down here to Render, and we're going to select Clouds. And now we've got some sandy looking clouds. Okay, well, it's not a sandstorm, but this is going to be a basis for adding a little bit more texture to our sand. I'm going to hit Command or Control minus, and I'm going to zoom way back out so that this looks about the size of a thumbnail. I'm going to hit Command or Control T to free transform. I'm going to hold down Option and Shift, and I'm going to drag this out quite a bit. So basically what I'm doing is I'm adding a little bit of distortion here, and this is going to serve as the basis for some of that texture in the sand. So I turn the sandy layer or the kind of cloudy layer if you will on an angle and stretched it out quite a bit and i'm gonna go ahead and hit return or enter before we go any further i want to point your attention here if you look at the size of my file it went from a 27 and a half meg file to roughly a 350 meg file that's because we've essentially enlarged the size of this layer so to change that or fix it i'm going to go up under image and i'm going to come down here to trim and we're going to trim it based on the top left pixel color, which is the default. And now you'll see that the file size has gone back down to 27.5 megs. All right, so next we need to lower the opacity of this layer. We're going to lower it down to, say, 30-some percent. That's going to bring back the noise that we created in the previous step. And at the same time, you can see that it's added a little bit of texture, a little bit of variance there. Of course, we could tweak the opacity if we need to based on you know, whatever our particular uh, needs are. All right, with that said, I'm going to hit Command or Control E on the keyboard to merge that down, and this is going to serve as our sand to draw on. So now, Command, Option, Shift, N, or Control, Alt, Shift, N, we're going to create a new layer, and now we need to write something in the sand. So I'm going to go ahead and select a darker color, uh, again, in the same color family or tone family, if you will, uh, as the color of the sand that we created. And now I'm just going to write this kind of kitschy little phrase right here. and. By the way, I'm, I'm drawing kind of purposely a little, a little jaggedy because that's what it would look like if we were drawing in the sand, you know, with a stick or with our finger. And uh, so that's going to serve as our message. All right. Now, the, mu the beauty here is in layer styles. Now, if I double tap on the layer that we just drew on, it's going to open up our layer style dialog box. And there's a lot of different settings in here. So I want to point out the fact that the settings that I'm applying are based on the resolution of the image that I have. Depending on the type of image that you have, and hopefully it's a photo and not just this generic sand scene that we've created right here, uh, you're going to want to tweak these settings. So again, this is just a basis or a starting point, so I encourage you to experiment. All right, I'm going to change the blend mode from normal to soft light, and it's going to appear as if our text almost disappears. That's okay. That's just the basis for our, uh, for our starting point here. And I'm going to lower the opacity just a little bit. And next, we're going to go over here to Bevel and Emboss. This is where the magic happens. I'm going to change the style of our uh, structure from its default inner to Bevel and Emboss. We'll leave the technique at smooth, but you could change it and experiment a little bit with some of these others. I'm going to leave it at smooth for now. And I'm going to go ahead and change the uh, size and uh, softening to, let's say, 25. And we're going to soften it up to, say, uh, 3 or 4. That looks pretty good. I'm going to come down here to shading, and I'm going to leave the angle and altitude alone, but I'm going to change the gloss contour to a preset. I'm going to set it to cone. 
And you can see that now we've got a really nice little bevel emboss there. Not exactly like we're drawing in the sand just yet, but uh, it will, don't worry. I'm gonna change the opacity of the highlight mode uh, to something a little lighter. We're gonna go 40, and then I'm gonna change the opacity of the shadow mode to something a little more. We're gonna go to 80. Next, I'm gonna go to texture, and I'm gonna change the texture based on a different pattern. I'm gonna select from the default patterns, I'm gonna go down here to spiky bush. And you can see that that's, uh, that's, that's pretty big right there. That's okay. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and change that by lowering the scale quite a bit. We're gonna drop this down to say 50. And you can play with the depth, like I said before, you know, you can experiment a little bit here, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave the depth at 100. To finish it up, I'm gonna click on inner shadow and I'm gonna change next to blend mode, I'm gonna change the color again to something in the uh, sort of warm tone family, something a little dark, like an espresso brown. I'll click OK, and then we're gonna lower the opacity just a little bit. There we go. And I'm gonna change the distance, choke, and size. And these numbers are just kind of arbitrary, just something I've experimented with in the past. I'm just gonna go with five, six, and seven. And then under quality, we'll change the contour once again to cone. And then I like to add just a little bit of noise. This is going to add noise inside the actual carving so it looks as if it's kind of disturbed sand. There we go, and I'll go ahead and click OK. And there is our writing in the sand. Now to make it a little bit more realistic, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna select my move tool, I'm gonna drag it down a bit, I'm gonna hit Command or Control T on the keyboard, and I'm gonna turn it on an angle, and then I'm gonna hold down Command, and I'm gonna drop the perspective down a little bit so if it looks as if we're looking at it on an angle a little bit more. And I'll go ahead and hit enter or return on my keyboard. So now that looks a little bit more realistic. And the beauty of it is with this layer style on this layer, whatever we add to it is going to appear in the sand. So you can go ahead and have a lot of fun just kind of doodling in the sand, drawing these little messages. You know, maybe we'll create a little paw print here just by drawing in the sand. It's pretty fun. All right, and if this is something that you think that you might do in the future, what I would encourage you to do is to save this preset. And it's really simple to do. All you have to do is go and make sure that you have your styles panel visible, and in the upper right-hand corner of that panel, in the drop-down menu, select New Style. And let's just name it Sand, and we'll go ahead and click OK. Now, if we are starting from scratch or we've got a photo of a beach scene, we can create a new layer above that image and then we can just click on the new layer style that we've created and we can write a little message right there in the sand. So that's my message to you. Thanks, I hope you guys enjoyed this tip. And if you did, make sure you stop by the Wacom community, check out the Wacom blog, um, follow us on Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram, what have you. We're always putting tips and techniques up there and we'd love for you guys to check out another one in the future. Enjoy your summer.